big loop up and back to your right. Then swing down and close it. Without stopping, make the tooth and then drop well below the line to make the tail. The tail of saw is the same shape as that of the seam mm -hmm. and must come all the way back up to the line. Mm -hmm. Practice this new shape, right? So at home, inshallah, keep writing saw and practice at, in your book. Okay. One last thing about the tail also. Some people, they make mistake while they are making the tail of either saw or seen, though both are the same, that they do not bring all the way back up to the line. Sometimes they leave it in the middle, halfway. So, it's by mistaken, it will be understood as a ra. So, never do this uh, mistake. Always write tail completely and bring it all the way back up to the line. Either you are writing seen or sheen or sod or dot. Now, the first word that we have with the initial position of sod is what is this word? Sahi. Ah. And don't pronounce sa sahi. It will be wrong. Sa. Sa. Sahi. Ah, because if we say sahi, it will become seen. Soft letter, thin letter. And that will be a wrong spelling and wrong pronouncing. So, sahi. Mm. And it's very common, uh, you hear Arab people speaking sah, 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 right? This word sah. Sah means correct, correct. Like we say, uh, in English also, yeah, you are right, you are right. So they say, sah, sah. Okay? So it's not sah, it's sah. Now the word sah itself you can write in two ways. One is print version, one is handwritten, but it is not for the sah, it is for the ha. Because the letter ha you can write in both ways. And we did so uh, several times the practice of both. So I'm just writing one more time over here the word sahi. This will be what version is there? Print, Print version. Okay. And for handwritten version, it will be like that. <laughs> right? So you need to practice more for handwritten version. And it should be one shot, no break, <laughs> no breaking or stopping in the middle. Okay, let me write it again here. The second, uh, you know, step is the nukta. So either this nukta that is handwritten or two nukta separately. But more practice of handwriting. Inshallah, randomly, someday I will check your books that you are doing your homework. Suwal <laughs> 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 Yeah. 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 Okay, next, uh, go on next page, and then you have medial swath. Hmm? And for the medial swath, we have the word, Brother Shuja, read this word in Arabic. That means photography. Taswir. Taswir. Yeah, Taswir, very good. It's very common word. In Urdu also, we say it, yeah? Taswir, photo, photography. Oh, yes. <laughs> so if you are, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> writing the word tasweer, you will use the medial shape of saw, right? Mm -hmm. So then again, you um, make practice of writing the word tasweer in your book. At least each word write ten times, minimum ten times. 
and we have enough space in one line you can write five times in the second line you can read another five times if you can make it six or seven in one line that is even better so why is it not seen here in the word taswir because this is the arabic uh, you know the language uh, the word for taswir it is derived from surah and the word surah is with the sad the uh, spelling of uh, the word taswir or surah is uh, from sad it is it is by the language by right. root root yes <coughs> okay now the last example is for the final shape of sad hmm? and let me ask from the sisters what is this word shakhs. yes shakhs again in the end we will make sad thick shakhs shakhs means person uh, in some colloquial arabic if uh, people they want to ask you that how many members are there in your family hmm? so they ask kam shakhsan kam shakhsan bi ailatik aila is the family kam shakhsan how many people are there so shakhs is person and again it is used very commonly in urdu as well okay shakhs well, yeah ashkhas plural of shakhs will be ashkhas ashkhas if you want to write it you can write it here like that okay it's very common to say in urdu ek shakhs mere paas aaye right ek shakhs yani one person he came in <laughs> okay and now let's move to the other page next page and this is page number 106 it talks about the last letter of this series and that is baad so in the same way that saad represents the emphatic counterpart of seen the letter baad represents the emphatic counterpart of dal So this is also a big confusion. Some people they pronounce dad as like dal. They make it thin. So dad should not be pronounced thin. If we pronounce dad thin, it will become like dal. So dad always heavy. And we have two very famous words of the Quran in Surah Al-Fatihah that every day we recite: "Ghair al-Maghdubi alaihim walad." Bolim. Both of the words are with God. This letter God. <coughs> And you see that if you when you recite Walad Bolim, so the surrounding vowel of God is Alif, Ba. And the effect of God also we are seeing on Alif that we are making Alif also thick, Ba. However, if alif will come with dal, so that alif will be pronounced thin. For example, if someone has the name Dawood, and you write Dawood with dal, so you say da, Dawood. Do not say Dawood, right? Okay. And we have some words with dal over here. So let's everyone read one word. Uh, brother Hassan, what is the number one? Yeah. Make more thick. Ba. Yeah. Ba. Yeah. That is the name of the letter itself. Ba. Okay. <laughs> Make more thick. Ba. 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 The first letter Ba is thick, but the second letter immediately after that Ba is thin. So you have to change yourself very quickly from heavy 
to the thing. You say Bobab. Bob first Bob. Bab. Bobab. Yes. The Bab is mist or fog. Like we have fog or uh, very light mist that is called Bobab. Bob is the letter, the name of the letter Bob, yes. <laughs> The third one is Khadba. 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 Yes. Yes. Khadba. Khadba means to uh, humble him down, to be, you know, polite or humble down. Okay. What is the next word? Hadur Hadara 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 means to come to come to be present It's part of the Hadrati Naam Naam Hadara So Hadara is also No 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 that is that is Hadha that is Hadha This is a verb Hadara to be present like you are all present in the class, that is Hada. So that's why if you are taking attendance in Arabic and for example if I am calling the names, so the person who is listening to the name say Hadir. Hadir. Hadir means present. Yes. In <laughs> but again the same mistake that in Urdu we change the sound of God into Za. We say Hazir. But it is actually Hadir. <laughs> the word Hudur, Hudur is also from the same root. And Hadratik, you already learned in Arabic. Mais Muhadratik, right? Okay, what is the next? Riyadh. Riyadh. Literal meaning of Riyadh is garden. Garden. And now city in Saudi Arabia, that's the capital of. Saudi Arabia. <laughs> we also uh, know and we love that place, all of us, mashallah, Riyadhul Jannah. Right? Whenever you go for Umrah or Hajj, so make the special Nafal prayer that is very close to the Rawbah of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Riyadhul Jannah. That is also from Yes, that is Riyadhah. If we add tamarbuta in the end, that becomes a riyada, and riyada means physical activities, especially exercise, physical exercise. When you go to the gym, you do the exercise, that's called a riyada. Sports activities also, uh, nowadays in modern Arabic, they are called or known as riyada. So, physical education and physical activities, they call riyada. Okay, yeah. Same for how So, the, some other words that you are seeing on the same page, this is a contrast between dal and bar. So, the basic thing, mashallah, you learned that dal should be pronounced thin and bar should be pronounced thick. So you can read yourself, inshallah. Then go to the next page about writing of God. So writing of God is not a new information. No, nothing is new. Just same as Saad. The only difference is the Nukta. Right? Otherwise, God is also connecting letter. It has all four shapes. Okay. So when we are writing the name of the letter God, we will use the initial shape of God. The second word that you are seeing here, what is this word Sami? How do you read it? The, the last word on the page. Yes. Akhbar. 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 We have medial shape of God here. And the meaning of Akhbar is what? Green. So, Inshallah, keep writing 
these names of the colors also. From today you are also learning the names of the colors. And there will be some more names inshallah. Green, yellow, white, black, all those colors are coming. So this is another vocabulary of uh, the names. Akhtar. And inshallah you will learn about the colors one more thing, in one more information in Arabic, but let me tell you now, it will be clear from uh, today inshallah, that in colors we have masculine gender and feminine gender also. Okay? Because colors are adjectives. And adjectives they are always, they are used with nouns. So nouns and the adjectives in Arabic, they have to be in agreement. Okay. If the noun is masculine, then the adjective also is masculine. If the noun is feminine, the adjective is feminine. For example, if you say green house or green door, how do you say in Arabic? Bait akhdar for green house, right? Because the word bait is masculine. You say akhdar. Same thing with the bab, door, because bab is also masculine, bab akhdar. But if you want to say green car, how do you say? Khadra. We do not say Sayyara Akhdar. Because the word Sayyara is feminine word. So the adjective will be Khadra. No, not Tamar Muta. Let me write it here, Khadra. This is the spelling of Khadra. So, Fatha and Kha, Sukun and Dad, then Ra, Alif and Hamza in the end. Now, learn this pattern for the colors. You will see the same pattern for all the names of the colors. For example, the white color is called in Arabic Abyad. That is coming, inshallah, in next pages. Abyad. So, Abyad will be on the same pattern of Akhdar, male. So, what is your guess for uh, white for the female? Baida. Baida, yes. Okay. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has used this uh, same word Baida in the Quran also in the context of a miracle that Allah has given to Musa alayhi salam. You know what was that miracle? Yeah, his hands. He put his hand under his arms and when he took out, it was shining like the sun and the moon. Okay. So Allah says, تخرج بيضاء من غير سوء آية أخرى in Surah Taha so there is Allah said بيضاء why? because the word yad in Arabic is a feminine word feminine word and it will be another information for you maybe you can write it down this note the parts of the body that we have every human being if they are in pairs, two to the, all the parts of the body that we have two, they are used in Arabic as feminine. So two hands, two legs, two feet, two ears, two eyes, they are all feminine. If the part of the body is one, like nose, that will be male word. <laughs> yes. Anf. <laughs> Baida is Aleph at the end? Yes, same. Yes. Let me write it here. Like that. Like that. Yeah. We do not have Aleph separate because the previous letter is Dot, that is a connecting letter. Over Khadra, over here, Ra was the letter that is a non connecting letter. So what does Baida with the 
noon, uh, what do you call it, uh, here, this means, it, it will come sort of. Okay. I'll just... Oh, bayil. This bayil. is just a bayil. Oh. Bayil means... Uh, egg, egg. Oh. Ah. <laughs> okay. Same thing will be another color that is black. You know what is the word for the black? Aswad. You say hajar, hajar aswad, right? Black stone because stone hajar is a male word. But uh, how do you say for ag again? You know for the black car. Uh, this pattern. Sayara is feminine word. So how, what would be the adjective of that? Sauda. 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 So seen wow, dal, then alif separate like that, and then hamza. Sauda. So inshallah we will go um, for all the colors. Right now today you learn three. <laughs> now move to the next page. And in the next page you have the example of final shape of Baad. And what is this word, uh, Brother Tanvir, how do you read it? The first word, yes. Abhyab. Hmm. Very good. Abhyab. Uh, remember, you need to pronounce Baad as thick. Abhyab. Abhyab is white. So you have, so you can see so many white chickens were thin. So then let me give you drill number 14 that is on next page 109. This drill 14 is letter connection. Okay, let me ask you one more time. Two weeks ago, I gave the homework for making ten sentences. <laughs> so, you are ready? Okay. Fifty percent. Fifty percent. Okay. Inshallah, so I will take it after the class. But always uh, keep up, keep doing the homework, Inshallah. Now this homework that I am giving you is not only letter connection. When you will make the final word, they are all meaningful word. They have meanings also. So your job also to explore the meanings. Okay. So the first word is. How do you read it? Sabu. So what is your guess, sister uh, Tahira? For the word sabu meaning. Uh, from sabr. Patience. Patience. The person who is uh, patient and is showing good patience, a lot of patience, very much, you know, uh, with the patience, that person is sabu. So, it is nowadays because of the internet, it's very easy to find the meanings, inshallah. But I want you to explore the meaning by yourself, so then it will stick in your mind. <laughs> now, Sabir and Sabur, same meaning? Yes, Sabir and Sabur, same meaning, both of uh, the patient, but Sabur is a superlative degree of Sabir. Ma. Bahot zyada sabar karne wala. <laughs> and then uh, go to drill number 16. Okay. Drill 16 is reading aloud. So this is now reading practice. And it is going to be very important drill. Because first we are doing reading, but we will come back again. As I told you today in the beginning of the class, that it will be very useful inf information today about the root in Arabic words. Okay? We need to recognize the roots. 
and that discussion is coming and for the practice we will come back right now we should read uh, just do the reading so again we will start from uh, inshallah this side and one person make the rotation every person will read one one word inshallah yes sister sadia bob yeah as we just learned this word with the pronunciation of that thick one ah bob well, what was the meaning it was the color green is green yes okay. now khadra not khada khab sukoon on that khadra khadra female green color but for feminine ab ya very good ab ya means why Yes, Brother Sami. Next. Rasos. Very good. Rasos. Everyone should Rasos. repeat. Okay? Rasos. 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 Ah. What is the guess for the meaning? Uh, I heard Alam Rasos. Yes. Like pencil. Pencil. Alam Rasos. Like, uh, uh, mashallah, some sisters and some brothers also, yeah. Yeah, this is alamur rasas, pens. Actually, rasas is lead. 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 So in gas station also you see that lead, you know, eighty nine octane. All this. This is rasas. Uh, then uh, next word. Aswad. Aswad. Very good. So aswad is. Black. 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 Hajar Aswad. Remember always Hajar Aswad. <laughs> so she did it black and white. <laughs> okay, Aswad. And always keep in, the, in your mind the feminine also of these colors. So what would be the feminine of Aswad? Sauda. Sauda. And we had Abiyad before that. What was Baida, that I wrote it. Is the name of Sauda? Sauda is also name, yes. But uh, when we write the name of Sauda, the spelling is different. It is seen Vau Dal and Tamar Bhuta. It's not Sauda. Okay. Then, next word, Brother Nabeel. Tashrabi. Tashrabi, very good. Tashrabi is the verb. Okay, and today we will learn this also the conjugation of the verb hmm? that is very basic uh, in arabic tashrabi means you a woman drink you drink like drink water hmm? drink milk drink juice tashrabi but it will be for feminine and inshallah when we will learn this conjugation that time i will explain it is not according to the formal arabic Formal Arabic should be Tashrabina. Okay, Tashrabina with noon also in the end. But this is without noon, this is colloquial. When they speak, they remove the noon. So, right now just write the meaning. You, a fe female, drink. Next word. Sharab. Sharab actually in Arabic means any drink. So water could be sharab, milk could be sharab, juice could be sharab. So sharab actual meaning is, or literal meaning is drink. Bayyada. Yes, this is the verb. So now we know the meaning of abiyab, that was why. The same root, so now it is the verb. He made it white. Like someone made something white, painted, you know, white, so is Bayyaba. So he did white. You translate it, verb, past tense. Or he made it white. Hmm? The next word? Shajar. Shajar. Yes. This is a very common Shajar. word. Tree. 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 Tree.
Shadal is a. Uh, uh, there are some words. They are not female, and you can use them as male and female also. But in order to make a specific uh, feminine, you need to say shajara. So to say Uh huh. You can say shajar akhdar. But if you uh, add tamar buta, you say shajara. Then it becomes khadra. So adjectives they depend on the noun. Okay. Shita. Shita. Hmm. What is the meaning? No. It's a season. Winter. Winter season. We read li ilafi Quraysh, ilafihim rihlata shita ibasai in the Quran. Quraysh people they used to make two trips of the business, trade caravan. One is in winter, one is in summer. So Allah SWT is referring those two trips of their business. Rehlat shita and saif is summer. So shita means winter. Next word. Surah. Yeah, surah. This is not Urdu surah. <laughs> yeah, in Urdu surah is with seen and meaning is also different. Okay, so this is Arabic. So, surah. Uh, it means shouting, a big shout. A big shout is surah. So, sur is. Uh, sur. sur is uh, um, also Arabic word, but it has a different meaning because yeah. sur is that, you know, uh, horn. Horn, yeah, exactly. Yes. Like that. Hmm. Quran, you know. Yes, yes. And the spelling also different, that is yes. Swad Vaw Ra Su. Yes. This is Surah. Tashrih. 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 Yes. So, Tashrih, one meaning of explanation. When you explain any text of the book, that is called Tashrih. Hmm? Yes, <laughs> Tashrih In Urdu exams, <laughs> we had this question, right? In Ashar ki Tashrih kare. Or Mundajar Zahel Ibarat ki Tashrih kare. When you explain, right? So there are so many books of the Tafsir of the Quran, that is the Tashrih. Or the books of Ahadith of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, that's called Shara or Tashrih. For the, in the medical terminology, also in Arabic, the anatomy of the human body, when they do the research, they explain the body with every part and all that, that is called Tashrihul Aaba. Tashrihul Aaba. So that is also a complete, you know, explanation of the body. Okay, next word. Sabta. Sab. 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 So by sakin, ta is also sakin. Sab. What is the meaning? Recording. No. It is Saturday. The day is Saturday. Yomu sab. Wa yomu sabtihim shurran hitanuhum. This is the Quran also. In the word Quran, Allah SWT says about the Jews. Yes. You know the holy day for the Jews is Saturday. And they call it Sabbath. Sabbath. <laughs> so Hebrew and Arabic, most of the words are very close to each other. So Sabbath or Sab in Arabic. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told them not to do anything on Saturday. That is only for the worship. So they were uh, very much, uh, you know, fond or loving of fishing. They used to go to fishing. And it was not allowed for them to go for fishing on Saturday. And Allah SWT, you know, took a test, put them on trial. That every day they were going fishing and they did not see the fish or did not catch the fish. But on Saturday they were not allowed to fi- do the fishing and there were a lot of fish on that day. <laughs> so they, they made some uh, tricks for that also. They put some net and all those things so they can... <laughs> They still do it, basically. They, yeah. Today they have refrigerators, which is, uh, yeah. you, know, you can uh, basically, in, in, you know, 
take stuff out of it huh. with the mechanical things. Huh. So today, it's it's unfortunate their trick is part of their deal. So huh. today they do the same thing, and they won't take the can out. The can comes out, and they'll say, "Oh, it comes to it's me." So it drink. I'm drinking oh. because it comes to me. To so. me, <laughs> by itself, huh? Yes. <laughs> Now, there was uh, a candidate for pre- presidency in America, Mr. Benjamin, or what was his name? Joe uh, Lieberman. Ah, Lieberman. Joe Lieberman. Yes, yes. So it was a big discussion at that time that if he would be the president, how he would make the signature on important, you know, decisions and the files because the Jews they will not do anything on Saturday. <laughs> He'll probably invent a computer which he presses a button or. Talks and then it just, you know. <laughs> yes, sir, Let's move uh, forward. So again, go going to that side. Next word is uh, make saw. So. Take sabah, sabah, and we had this word sabah al khair. So sabah means morning, morning. Yes. Next word is soul. So, always saw thick. So, so means voice. Voice. We have Voice of America radio station, very famous, right? In Washington. Do you know what they say in Arabic for Voice of America? South America. <laughs> It's South America. Yes. And next word, sawar. These are two words, and commonly, uh, you know, they are mistaken. One word is written with sod. That is here in the book right now. We are reading. It means anything that is correct, right? Like we learned the word sahi, right? Sahi means correct. Same meaning of correct is sawa. The second word that we know. Most is written with ta. Sawab. This is sawab. It means a reward, a jaza, reward from Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. So never write this word if you mean sawab with saw. <laughs> okay. Both are different words. Okay. Next word, Sami. Sahib. Saw, sahib, sahib means friend, companion. We say sahaba or sahabi for the companions of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam from the same root sahab. Next word, hawajiz, hawajiz, jiz, yes. Hawajiz means reservations, reservations. When you make your seat reserved in aeroplane, in uh, any program, hmm? that's the reservation. It's called havajis. Next word. Hmm. Uh huh. Very good. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Dohaya. Make dot again. Dohaya. Bahaya means victims, victims of uh, any incident, hmm? of uh, some tragedy. So those who are victims of that uh, disaster, for example, that is called bahaya. Okay. Next word. Ah, and we heard, we learned this word before. Fly. Dubab. Yes. Next word, ashab. Ashab. We just had sahib, right? So ashab is a plural. So sahib one friend, ashab many. Ashab kahf. Yes, very good. Next word, durus. What is your guess? Lessons. There's jama plural. What is the singular of the rules? Dars. One lesson is dars many the rules. Okay, next word, brother Hassan. 
Bow. Make bottle. Bow. Bow means light. Like noor. We have the word noor means light. Same meaning of bow. And we have uh, very close with the word bow is Diya. Diya ul Islam. Some people they have the name. We say Ziya ul Islam, right? Or Ziya ul Haq. <laughs> Actually it is Diya. Diya or Dao it means light. Next. Yudrus. Yudarris. 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 You remember the discussion of Shadda? With Shadda, when it's Shadda, so it changes the meaning. Yudarris means he teaches. Yeah, he teaches. Yadrus without Shadda will be he studies. Learning. Studying that is Yadrus. When you put the Shadda, it becomes Yudarris, it means teaching. And from Yudarris we have the word Mudarris. Mudarris is the teacher. Right? Next word? Sahi. Very good, mashallah. Easy, you got the easy one. <laughs> okay. Next? Hisab. Hisab. Hisab is what? Math. Maths. Mathematics. Okay. Again, next word. Sister Sadia. Hujjaj. Hujjaj. It's very common word. All the pilgrims is the Jama of Haji. Okay. Hujjaj. Hujjaj Ikram. He said. Yes. Hmm. Yes. Next word. Ziyarah. Very good. This is the Jama of Ziyarah. In Arabic, ziyarah means visit, visit. So ziyarat, many visits. This is also used in Hajj and Umrah time when you go there and when you are done with the, all the things, they say, are you going for ziyarat? Hmm? Or the taxi people, they ask you, ziyarat, ziyarat. <laughs> if you want to go to visit other holy places, hmm? ziyarat. Then, next word is Sahaha. Sahaha. So we have three ha actually over here. Shadda on the first ha, so these are two ha, and then another ha. Sahaha. Sahaha means uh, like Sahi means correct. Sahaha, he made correct. He made correct. And for, from the same verb, the masdar of Saha is tasheeh. We say tasheeh. Tasheeh we use for the proofreading. Right? If someone wrote, uh, wrote an article or book and there are other people, those who do the proofreading, so they make the corrections if they, they find a mistake. So that correction in Arabic is called Tasheer. Yes. Next word is? Takharraj. Or you can also read Takharraja. This is the verb. What is the meaning of that? Exit. Uh, exit or graduated. Like this is the season of graduation. So if you want to say I was graduated, hmm? so Takharraj tu. And Takharraja he graduated. Next word is? Shai. Shai. T. Very good. <laughs> so they Arabized, they made it, you know, Arabic of Chai into Shai. Because there is no letter Ch in Arabic, so they have converted it to Shashin, Shai. Next word? Ikhraj. Ikhraj. Ikhraj is uh, making someone exiting. To make someone exited. Ikhraj. It's very important drill. 
that we just finished not only for reading but inshallah as i said we will come back to this uh, if not today probably we should we should do it today because it's fresh and we will learn about the roots in arabic so, so exit as as simple as it would be khuruj right? khuruj yes only exit is khuruj and ikhraj by force to make someone exit uh, for example uh, when someone is deported from the country so this deportation is all ikhraj some students are expelled from schools college universities so that by force you know that is called ikhraj to so allow kharij also yes kharij ha huh? kharij is also but uh, ikhraj the action that was taken uh, by the officials and kharij you can uh, use for the one who by his own choice he exited that is kharij so we have some vocabulary uh, on the next page so let's finish quickly and so many words are the common words that we already learned today so let's continue that practice from one person but everyone should repeat hmm? so who was the next yes rather no man sahi not sa so make so the gear sahi okay uh over here you also just learn about the colloquial you know pronunciation also in formal sahi and they say sa sa that's what you hear from speaking when people are speaking or reading the sa right or correct okay next word is abiyat abiyat so we learned that one next word is aswad aswad we already learned aswad next is akhbar okay so here you can see all these three colors in one place now next shukran shukran we already know this word right shukran thank you thanks okay next afwan afwan so this is the response of shukran someone says thank you is a you are welcome so in arabic shukran afwan afwan you also can say ahlan wa sahlan uh fiq or fiq but just afwan is good you are pardon afwan ha afwan little mean afwan is pardon but uh, in the uh, spoken arabic they took this word afwan for that uh, you are welcome like in old traditional english we used to say mention not right <laughs> yes so this is like kind of afwan then next word is min fadlik ha min fadlik now we have two possibilities you are uh, addressing a man or woman so in formal arabic you will make the difference you will say for male min fadlika ka ending for female you say min fadliki right but in spoken arabic they make a difference by saying min fadlak fadlak for male fadlik for female so you need to learn this way because you will use in spoken arabic min fadlak min fadlik that means please right give me this thing please hmm? so atini min fadlak or min fadlik min means from right yeah min means from uh, so from your fadl the literal meaning will be from your fadl from your uh, greatness then next word is as ah, who was next okay he was you did a bit further okay so asif i'm sorry but for men for female asifa that's a different spelling yes that will be, be sad asifa and the scene is asifa i'm sorry then next word is kunak kunak means there is like so 